Happy Wednesday, everybody. I am here with another Wellness Wednesday. Excited to share with you guys today some things that we have learned about our skin. So let me say, first of all, I cannot diagnose, cure, or treat any of your skin issues. My goal is to honestly just give you some education about what we have learned and then help you take charge of and be empowered by your own health. That's the goal here. So I have gotten a lot of questions recently about how to manage our skin health. I've posted about some of our skin stories and we've had some pretty amazing results with our skin. So, hey Lori, I wanted to get on here and just tell you how we have healed our skin. So how many of you have ever had skin issues or someone in your family has skin issues? It could be eczema or psoriasis acne, sensitive skin, any of those things. Our skin is a really big deal. So I have had tons of chronic skin issues, eczema since birth. So some of my very earliest memories are of my dad rocking me in a rocking chair, singing the good old hymns of the faith, and uh, putting applying uh, hydrocortisone creams to my skin for all of the outbursts of eczema. I was little, okay, less than five years old, two to four years old when I remember him doing that on my skin. Um, the chronic eczema with chronic uh, hydrocortisone use throughout my entire adult life really affected my adrenal glands and ended up with some adrenal fatigue later in life. My youngest son, by the time he was one or one and a half, he was already being prescribed steroids for his skin for chronic eczema. So we've dealt with a lot of skin issues over the years. And I want to mention two aspects of our skin health to you today. One of them is outside in, so what we put on the outside and how it gets inside. And the other one is inside out, so what happens on the inside of our body erupts on the outside. Okay, first of all, we're going to talk about inside out of our skin. For those of you who have any type of chronic skin issue, like the ones I mentioned before, you're probably not going to like what I have to say. It is typically an indication of something needing attention on the inside. So oftentimes we go to the dermatologist, I've been there, we research, we do whatever, we want to put all kinds of stuff on our skin. All these creams, all these oils, all this whatever on the outside of our skin, but that's not where the issue most often is. Typically the issue is on the inside. We were able to get off of our prescription steroid creams just simply by changing our diet and going gluten free almost seven years ago. I used steroid creams daily up until the point that we switched our diet and went gluten free and now I'm off of them. My skin looks better than before. My son got off of his prescription steroid creams with gluten free diet. You guys have seen my post about our youngest son who had the chronic skin issue on the back of his knee for a year and a half. Dermatologist recommended we do crazy things like uh, put him in a bleach bath and high doses of antibiotics and all kinds of things that that was not what he needed at that time. So we went on a deep dive to look inside because nothing external was working. We went inside and started to heal him from the inside out and we saw the rash go away and it stayed away for probably close to four to six months. It's one of my proudest moments as a mom to have healed that pesky rash from the inside out. It goes against everything that we learn. So if you have persistent skin issues, you need to look to the root of the issue. The root of the issue is probably going to be found in your gut. Our gut is where so much of our health emerges. Belly issues, belly health is so important. Trauma. Trauma in the past is going to erupt sometimes as a skin issue. Stress can create skin issues. Our diet is a major player in our acne and our all types of skin issues. Chemicals that we are exposing our body to is going to manifest itself on our skin. If our immune system is compromised, it's going to show up with our skin. 
our nutrition, if we're not getting enough nutrients in our diet, it's going to show up on our skin. And yes, Lori, a gluten-free diet could help with adult acne. It's definitely one of those things that needs to be considered. So to have the healthiest skin, and I think my family has really healthy skin now, which we've worked hard to get that, to have that, here's what we've done. We've gotten on a very strong, effective probiotic to help heal our gut. We have worked on emotional healing and trauma and we've used oils and we've used prayer and, and counseling and those things for our emotional healing. We have really adjusted our diet. We have maintained a gluten-free diet for almost seven years. And then my youngest son, who had the, the really bad pesky rash, had to go dairy-free, um, a lot of sugar-free, uh, even chocolate-free was a trigger for him processed foods need to get rid of that and eat more whole fruits and vegetables we drink ninja red an antioxidant drink from young living every single day it's power packed with nutrition and i know that's a way that we have healed our insides we also use sulfurzyme daily we get this from young living it's a supplement that has msm in it and that helps heal us from the inside out as well if you have skin or nails and an immune system you need sulfur so we all take this sulfurzyme daily and we have worked really hard to remove the chemicals in our day-to-day -day life. Um, healing is possible from the inside out, but it's not conventional. It takes work and it takes patience. And that's where the rubber meets the road because you've got to be willing to work on this in order to see results. But if you are, if you're willing to take charge, you can see results in your skin. So skin issues on the outside are often an indication of what's going on in the inside. Work on healing from the inside out. Now the second thing I wanna cover really quickly is what comes from the outside of our life and goes onto our skin and gets inside. Um, yes, Nita, I think if you're allergic to sulfur, you can take it, it's a totally different uh, form of that in here. Okay, so let's talk about outside in on our skin. A friend recently said to me, I'm not worried about what I put on my skin, meaning lathering chemicals and, and worrying about chemical free living. She goes, I'm not worried about that. I'm more worried about what I put on the inside of my body, so what I'm eating and drinking. Well, I can appreciate what she said, but that's a very ignorant statement. I'm just going to tell you like it is. Um, we need to be concerned about what we're putting on our skin. Our skin, we might think it's not a big deal because it's a barrier. It's there for us. Um, it's tough. It, 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 it protects us, but it is an organ. In fact, it is the largest organ in our entire body. It's a big deal. We need to start thinking about how we're caring for our skin and what we're putting on it. And people say, well, it, it's just a a barrier it's not going to get into your bloodstream then why in the world do we have transdermal patches for pain or a patch that you'll put on for nicotine or a birth control patch if it's not actually going to get into your blood system and go throughout your entire body duh <laughs> guys what we're putting on our skin gets into our body and our bloodstream we need to take this seriously. We are typically, the American household is using 60 to 300 chemicals a day on our skin. I encourage you to download an app called the Think Dirty app. And yes, the pastor's wife is telling you to download a Think Dirty app and because you can scan all of your regular household and personal care products. And this is a completely third party pro uh, app. Um, and it's going to tell you how this product that you use ranks in the areas of causing cancer, reproductive issues, and allergies. Okay, do we have a prevalence in this country of cancer, reproductive issues, and allergies? Hello, maybe there's a connection between all of those things and the 300 chemicals we're all putting on our skin every day. Guys, we've got to wake up to this. This is too important to ignore. So we have gone through a process. It's taken about three years, but we have gone through a process of getting the chemicals out of our home and switching to chemical-free living. It is worth it. It. I don't have to worry anymore when I am cleaning that my cleaning products are going to cause issues for myself or my skin. This is one of the reasons I absolutely love Young Living because I'm not a person that's going to sit all day and make soap. That's just not me. I don't want to make my own deodorant or my own lip balm or my own laundry detergent. I want to buy it and move on with something else in life. 
and Young Living has all of that for us, completely chemical-free, safe, natural, and effective. So we actually use the Thieves Cleaner. This bottle right here has replaced all of my household cleaners. I no longer use other products on my windows or my floors or my bathrooms. This is the base of all that I use for my cleaning. It smells good. There's no uh, poison control number on here that I need to be worried about. It's safe. It's actually doing good things in my body as I'm using it to clean my house. My kids can clean and I don't have to worry about the toxins and the fumes that they are breathing as they spray stuff in the bathroom tub. So our laundry, we have switched our laundry detergent to what Young Living offers and uh, we're not putting chemicals or fragrances. Um, bounce sheets are one of the worst things in the world for us and we're not doing that anymore. Our shampoos and our deodorants, we've switched to those. Our makeup, hello! Can I get a high five? Because we now have chemical free makeup that we can use. And I'm not putting 300 chemicals on my face anymore. I can use something that's chemical free, that's actually doing good things for my skin. And my skin has never felt better. Um, skincare, lotion, all of those things are available through Young Living, and they've made it easy for my family to transition. So I hope you've seen that your skin is really important and we need to give it the attention that it deserves because what we're putting on the outside is impacting the inside as well as what's going on on the inside is impacting the outside. The outside is a mirror of the inside and what you put on the outside will affect the inside. So take a moment to think about your skin, do a skin evaluation and see if you need to adjust anything in your life. And then um, I'd love to talk to you about uh, switching to a chemical free lifestyle. It is so easy and so worth it for the long run. Download that Think Dirty app. Let us know what you think about the Think Dirty app and some products that are in your home that surprise you with how they rate for cancer and reproductive and allergens. And let's, let's treat our skin right. Okay. Okay. Hope this has been helpful guys. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.